heat number one of the quarter-finals of the Men's Sprint World Championship. Francois Purvis in the red, white and blue of France, the tricolour colours. Matthew Glatzer, one of the Cyclones, the Aussie Cyclones in second place there. Looked a little bit overgeared to me in the last ride, so maybe he's gone into the centre of the track and uh, talked to the coaches. They will have looked at the data, they'll have looked at the temperature in this track. They also, interestingly, look at the whole uh, pressure affecting the centre of the track too. That then can help them make a decision on the gear size. It just looked like he was fighting the gear a little bit. Purvis looked a lot smoother in the first ride. These two riders have already got uh, World Championship medals. Glatzer, the uh, bronze medal from 2011 in the team sprint. Purvis, the one-kilometre champion from a couple of nights ago. He was hoping for the Kieran title as well, but uh, he was relegated for an infringement. Glatzer with that uh, hunched style over the handlebars. Real style of uh, sprinters from a, more of a bygone era. On the front then, Pervy starts to accelerate. He's going to go early, isn't he? He's decided he's got the power from the one kilometre. Glatzer racing around, trying desperately to get in the slipstream. Working really hard as he tries now to get back in contact with Purvis. He's going to challenge him on the line, but Purvis takes it. 2-0 to the Frenchman, over 70 kilometres an hour, and he will go through to the semi-finals. Powering his way round turn four into the finishing straight. Glates are working hard, but he doesn't manage to get there. And the win is just about half a wheel. This Frenchman always likes to entertain the crowd, but he's pretty serious tonight about winning. Speaks very, very good English. Flicks the toe straps. He's through. He doesn't have to go to the decider.